Hello everybody, this is Dave Wallace coming to you from my home here in Waihua, Hawaii and it's talk story time. And this is the 28th of December 2021 and we're about to uh, have Christmas. So Merry Christmas everybody and thank you for watching today. In honor of Christmas, I wanted to share with you one of my memories of, of first displaying uh, my ability to see hidden things. I used to do this, um, you know, occasionally and uh, in school as well as church and at home. Uh, sometimes people would uh, hide things or um, hide things in their drawer and um, I would kind of like close my eyes and start using my, my imagination and imagining uh, looking inside and seeing things were and I was pretty it was pretty uncanny that I could do that and um, a lot of times um, my guesses I call them guesses but I actually was seeing them uh, seeing these objects and uh, it would be correct and um, this started shortly after my accident when I start uh, when I came home from the hospital after falling out of the car at five years old um, I noticed that if I really focus um, on objects uh, that's hidden away, looking at things in purses, um, I see flashes of pictures, kind of like snapshots coming by and just entering my head. And uh, some of these snapshots would be exactly what the items were. You know, So looking inside my mom's purse or my dad's pocket, uh, my dad used to play a trick on us, um, and it was called, uh, he used to carry uh, juicy fruit and uh, velvet, uh, mints and stuff for church. And uh, nobody liked the velvet, but he liked the juicy fruit. So my dad had them in pockets and he would ask us, uh, you know, which pocket was the uh, juicy fruit or what, whatever uh, pocket we choose, that's what we get. And he couldn't figure out how come I kept on getting the juicy fruit because I saw him where, uh, just by focusing on his suit, um, I knew where the juicy fruit was. And you know, it, it was uncanny. Anyway, on this particular uh, Christmas, and as uh, Christmas as far as I can remember, um, you know, when we wake up in the morning, we come out and we see our tree, the uh, tree nicely lit and it's really dark because my parents get us up early and uh, <laughs> so we're there uh, opening up our presents and normally before I open it up like I get the package and I don't shake it or you know try and feel the package to um, kind of like feel what was in there um, I just grab them and put things and separate them and uh, this one, Christmas, my dad was watching and he saw me putting all of the uh, packages on the side and stuff. And I know he wanted me to open one particular one. And this one was a long um, package uh, gift that was gift wrapped. And uh, he was kind of wanting me to open that one first. <laughs> but... For me, I like to open up the dull stuff like clothes and um, books and things like that that I uh, my parents would get us uh, school supplies. And those are the first things that are open and get it over with and I stack them up and uh, then I save the best uh, ones for last. And so I separated all of the books uh, and the books are on the side. That's the first thing I open then I'll close. And my dad is watching and he's kind of like getting impatient. And then he, <laughs> he calls me and says, there's an A. And I look back, I say, yeah, dad, how come you don't open that, you know, that long, that, you know, your big man gift and stuff. How come you don't want to open that? And I look at my dad and I look straight at him. I says, dad, because I'm saving my BB gun for last. And he looks at me. How you know it's a BB gun? He says, oh, he's in there. It's a BB gun, right? Yeah. And he kind of looked at me and says, well, what kind of BB gun is? 
and I says, I think it's a daisy, um, a daisy one, and uh, it's a long um, BB gun, and there's a ring on the side, and there's a bullseye on a tart on the um, on the outside of the package. And he looks at me. I, did you sneak look at this? And I said, no, 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 I didn't. And so my dad uh, is, is kind of looking at me. How does this kid know? So after I open up all my presents, uh, uh, I, I saved the BB gun for the last, and I open it up, and sure enough, uh, it's a daisy uh, BB gun with the bullseye on a, uh, with the bullseye on an outside package. And when I opened it up, um, it was a model that I was looking at and um, kind of had, had my hopes up <laughs> and, I, and it had a metal ring on the side and uh, to load it up we kind of like twist the front and pour it on BBs and so there's BBs in there um, for us and uh, I went outside and practiced shooting at tin cans and it was good fun so that was my favorite um, thing um, as a kid having a BB gun at that uh, young age. Uh, later on, I was able to get a, um, I think it was a 22 caliber Benjamin uh, Benjamin air rifle where you kind of like crank it. And w once I got that and stuff, uh, I was serious uh, bird hunter. <laughs> My parents uh, taught me that uh, you know what, if you shoot a bird, you better bring them home and eat them. So if I shoot a minor bird or a sparrow, uh, be, prepared, uh, be prepared to eat it. So, so I, um, the, only, um, the only birds that I shot was um, were birds that, were, that could be eaten, like uh, doves, the small turtle doves and the pounders, what we call pounders. So that was my first time that um, I really came out in the open and, and um, you know, my, my dad uh, was kind of like mystified how I could see uh, these things. He thought that I had snuck out and opened up the package and I said, no, I didn't have to. I knew it was, I knew it was a BB gun. And so um, my dad couldn't figure out that I could see. And um, in fact, for the longest time, my parents were in denial. <laughs> I knew what I could do, and I knew what I could. Uh, I knew what I could sense. So this is something that um, was with me for the longest time, and uh, I'm still practicing that in the form of associative remote viewing, and uh, just regular remote viewing, um, where I focus on future events and create sketches. So for those of you following this channel, <clears throat> you know that um, I'm doing the lottery and a lot of it has to do with associative remote viewing, closing my eyes and seeing pictures that represent, uh, that represent numbers. So this is a skill, actually a gift that was given to me early in life and I'm still figuring, uh, figuring out how it works. <laughs> That's why they call it a practice. So they're still trying to figure it out. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you folks have a great Christmas filled with wonderful memories with you and your family. And uh, until next time, this is Dave Wallace, Call Dave from Waiwa, Hawaii, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas and Aloha. <laughs>